Time Out with Ramon Dominguez for dang sure by three and a half lengths. Coming to New York wasn't a move uh, as intimidating as most people might think because of the fact that I did it, I did it kind of gradually. Um, I came to New York for four or five winters before I made a complete move to right year around in 2009. So although I wasn't a New York rider per se, um, I was probably becoming more of a familiar face just by being here during the winters and making a pretty frequent trips throughout the summer as well. It's a great opportunity to be in New York in the winter because the moon is great. Um, I have been able to, to do very well because of course I have a lot of business. So to me it's not a sacrifice. You get a little cold, but you gain a lot as well. It has always been a tough hit and it has always gone way too fast. You know what I mean? It's very hard to, just, to he's, keep he's, those he's kind just of yeah. But six is not an optimal distance. No, it's great not. New York Red Company, yes. Anything Opening you want to do with New York Red, exactly. We might try two turns. All right. Thank you, man. Gentlemen. Some jockeys, you kind of got to give them instructions and the way you see the race, but when Ramon comes out here, he basically tells you how he sees the race, and 99.99% he's so accurate. So it's, it's uh, probably the most prepared jockey, smartest jockey. I've seen him take horses to the front when they should come from behind and they win. I've seen him take horses from uh, behind that should be on the lead and win. Uh, he's just got amazing hands and uh, there's no doubt. I mean, obviously he was the number one jockey last year in New York and uh, to me he's a definite top five jockey in the country. As far as riding style goes, um, there are two parts of it, the, the hands or the touch aspect of it, which I'm, I love the way I feel the horses and, uh, and the way I can communicate with them. My relationship with the fans, especially the New York fans, is uh, unique. Uh, the, the, the fans from New York, they are like no one else. Uh, they, are, they can be extremely great or extremely hard on you as well, and, and that's great. It keeps you on your toes. You can win three races in a row and come back and get beat, and they will say a lot of bad things about you, so that keeps you going. Ramon is just seasoned, and he always seems to have your horse in the right position. And Ramon also has a quality of life about him. He's very much... Um, it, he's a very much a good father and a very good husband as well and he, his children are always important and I think when you have your family and your personal life together I think it makes you a better person and Ramon is just a great person be it father, husband or jockey he's the greatest of all of us. When most people look at a rider right away it comes in mind that we are a physical athlete and there is the mental aspect that definitely keeps you going and you have to stay sharp at and one of the things that motivates me and keeps me going are my family for one thing I love doing this not only for them for, for myself and it's not a sacrifice at all I love what I do I, I love every aspect of the game but um, what keeps me going is certainly winning I love to win and I take the good and the bad but day in and day out I love to win that, that's what keeps me going.